Urban based shipbuilder has cut steel for the South African Navy's new hydrographic survey vessel, said to be the most complex and technically advanced vessel that has ever been built in the country. South African Shipyards SAS has partnered with international company Vard Marine to develop the vessel. A celebration of the milestone the symbolic cutting of the first plate of steel. The multi-billion rand project is expected to be completed in just more than three years. The new vessel, acquired under the Navy's project hotel, will replace the SAS Protea, which is to be decommissioned after 40 years of service. The hydrographic vessel scans and maps large areas of the Southern Hemisphere ocean floor, providing South African navigational charts for the country's coastline. The first is what we call the platform, which is a speciality and core competency of southern African shipyards. Then onto the platform we install a propulsion system which drives the ship and this is not a normal propulsion system because a survey vessel has to be a very steady ship. And in, in addition to be steady, it has to have little to no noise coming out of it. Subcontractors will develop various systems for the ship. Other components include hydrographic and communications systems. The last part of it is the navigation system because the ship has an endurance of 44 days out at sea and must be able to encounter any kind of weather, especially when we go into the south, the Antarctic, which is South African territory. So this vessel has been built to a uh, PC7 polar class. Uh, uh, a polar class ice standard. The project will provide employment for more than 600 people at the shipping yard in Durban's Bayhead. And more than 3,000 people are expected to be employed through the supply chain. The work and programs that the hydrography does and the hydrographic vessel in simple terms makes it possible for our seas to be navigable, not only for us, but for all navigators who traverse our oceans. SAS was also contracted to supply a barge for the transshipment of liquid natural gas. Renee Heiner, SABC News, Durban.